Welcome back to Dave's Shed. This is part two of two videos where I'm making two standing lamps for the living room. Just to quickly recap, I purchased some curry decking and I dressed it uh, and then I used a interlocking joint with a router bit to create the stem for the standing lamps. Then I built some small footprint stands using half lap joints and attached it to the stem to create freestanding lamp stands. Originally I was going to round over the corners of the stem uh, but I decided it would look better if I created my own molding or trim and put that around the corners. So since the last video you can see I've added a cap on the top of the stands that's of Merbau uh, which is another hardwood and then uh, using my router I've created my own very small corner trim out of Queensland walnut uh, another Australian hardwood and then I've used the masking tape to make sure I didn't get glue sque squeeze out on the faces of the stand because that would have been uh, quite difficult to, to remove and clean up afterwards. And now I'm gluing this uh, trim or moulding that I've made onto each corner. Getting clamps on all the way up two of these stems so they're all holding these trim on nice and square uh, was more difficult than you might imagine so I enlisted the assistance of management. Once the glue set and I cleaned all that up uh, I then applied several coats of shellac to both of the lamp stands and at the same time my wife embossed these aluminium sheets uh, into triangles uh, and I cut out and then she, she backed each one with this silicon backing so that they uh, keep their shape and then I cut out each one of those so it specifically fit a specific face of each of the four faces around the middle of each of the two lamp stands and then I, I had saved a bit of a it's called a veneer or a thin strip of the curry when I was dressing it because it had some nice uh, changing colors in the grain so I kept that and then I used that as trim on each side or top and bottom I should say of each of these metal embossed plates so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, you can see that I had had masked off that area so that we didn't get shellac in that area so the glue would set well uh, and so then I'm just gluing each of those very carefully in turn so that they all uh, fit very nicely and that took quite a bit of care just to make sure they all fit well uh, but it came out quite well I drilled a small hole at the base of each of the lamp stands for uh, the wire to enter and then I wired those up. Uh, I got a good score here. I actually found some um, slow selling lamps from the big box store and they were just selling them each of them for five dollars just to get rid of them. Uh, I guess they weren't very popular and they were they were pretty flimsy but for five dollars it meant I got all of the fittings so I got a bunch of these and just I just pulled them apart and just used the fittings so it had a perfectly good uh, foot switch for example uh, and the uh, 
actual light bulb holder and so on so for those parts alone probably it would have added up over five dollars so that was quite a good score and I just used that with some additional wiring and connectors as you can see to wire these up Please remember to like and subscribe because that encourages me to make more content for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.